Okay, all that running's paid off. Fresh 2K egg. We're probably gonna get a Zubat, but if we got a Pikachu, I'd be very, very happy. Or a Charmander. I think if we get a Charmander, we might be able to evolve it. So, all right, here we go. Here we go, come on, please. Previously on Pokemon Go. Come on, three. Feels good, man. I think this is a 5K one. And, oh, Kimo. Super athletic. Oh, no messing around. Hit one Chad in the building. Oh, he's doing that. Okay. Three, first attempt, and, oh, Ponyta. Alrighty, what is going on, guys? It's Lachlan here, and welcome back to a brand new episode of the Pokemon Go series here on my channel. For today's episode, we're going to be going into the local forest nearby. We're going to be trying to find a bunch of, you know, forest type Pokemon, see if we can find anything new on our Pokedex. Um, and we're also going to be hatching a little bit of some eggs out on our adventure as well. We got a lot of 5k eggs which uh, should be hopefully popping off. I also read something on the internet that said that you can actually get region exclusive Pokemons from eggs. So I can still get a Tauros, a Farfetch'd, or a Mr. Mime from a 5k egg, even though I'm not in those respective regions. So that's pretty exciting, and hopefully we might be able to get one of those today. We'll see how we go. So catching up on the last episode of Pokemon Go, we went ahead into the city to try and hunt down this Jinx nest, and uh, we caught quite a few of these bad boys. The highest one of them only being a 577, which was at our Gen X right here. So hopefully we'll be able to uh, maybe get something a little higher. And then directly the last episode we recorded, we went ahead and got this bad boy over here. Our Venusaur, that costed us $182, yeah. But he is one of the highest CP ones that we have, and uh, his stats aren't too bad. He is weighing quite a bit at 90 kilos, but he's got the Solar Beam special attack and the Vine of it for his primary attack. So this should be kind of interesting, and I'm probably gonna, you know, put a couple levels into this guy, got a lot of Bulbasaur candy to go around that I don't need to use anymore for an evolution, so it might make sense to do so. Because I only have a level 554 Ivysaur, which probably would translate to around the same level for a Venusaur, even if I did evolve him. And the last thing I want to go ahead and confirm for you guys is that if you apparently use curveballs, nice shots, great shots, or excellent throws, it does apparently, in the code, improve your catch rate on a Pokemon. So definitely try to go for those um, harder shots on those rare Pokemon and increase your catch rate. So yeah, goals for today's episode, pretty simple. Want to go ahead and try and catch as many eggs, hopefully get a region exclusive egg if we can, and and uh, try and find some more Pokemon in the forest. Okay, so we're on the way to the forest and we've got a Scyther nearby. It's the closest one nearby, but we have no way, we have no way to track it. We have no way to track it. it feels bad, man. So we just got here guys and there's a lot of Pokestops going off. It still says Scyther is here, but I don't actually believe it. So we're gonna go through, there's probably a gym somewhere in the forest somewhere. We're gonna go hit that up and yeah, just try to find some, you know, forest Pokemon on the way in. Please, Scyther, please. We we'll really like Scyther. So yeah guys, also for today I've switched things up to the iPhone to try and see if it's a better performance. The camera on this is so much better. But we've got ourselves an Eevee, we're gonna do a curveball trick here to make sure it's a higher catch rate. It is hard to catch with AR mode, but, or not AR mode I guess you could say. Uh, but let's see. Oh! Pokeball glitch. Alright, so I think we're gonna post up here and just walk back and forth. I'm gonna chuck down three lures here and just get my own little lure station going and see if we can attract anyone else out into the forest. But, uh, oh, we got a Zubat. Oh no, he's high level two. Alright, let's just go Great Ball and hope for the best here. And small section go. I think that was enough. Come on, here we go. It wasn't a great or a nice one. I'm sorry, Bill. I'm sorry, Bill. Uh, I nearly broke your phone trying to catch a Zubat. All right, and there we go. No, Zubat, please. Come on. There we go. What are these? That's the most insulting thing when a thing you don't even want gets away from you. All right, so the one we just chucked down it gave us a Growlithe. This could be a hot spot. Oh, they're so cool they're in the forest like this. All right, I need to use this like camera mode more often. So there's a Growlithe in the forest right here. Gonna go Ultra Wizard, level 744. That's insane. All right, come on. A nice shot, curveball, great ball. Let's see what we get here. Three, there we go. See, you can catch a level 700 Growlithe, but I can't catch level 300 Zubat. But this is good, because I actually need this guy. And we're pretty cool. 18 out of 50, we're not exactly close, but I'm excited to evolve this guy. Weedle, yeah, there he is. Hey Weedle, how's it going? How's it 
go on Weedle? We'll just throw a Weedle in the forest. This is so good because it all fits, right? Because of course, catching Weedles and you know, evolving them gives you the most XP uh, per minute. Um, these Pidgeys and Caterpies are the best. Yo, Billy, we got a Paris. Come over. Alrighty, there we go. There's a little Paris in the little. Look at him just in the forest chilling. Okay, come on. Ah, oh, hit it when they attack. You always miss your Pokeball when they attack at the right time. All right. And please be nice to Paris. I'd love to go and get another Parasect. Not bad. Little Paris, easy bangers. Look, there's a little, there's a little caterpie just in the middle of the side of right here. I'm gonna catch him. It's a little, little mini caterpie. Arena. Um, this is actually really good because I need a high level one. Pray for a high level arena. Arena, come on. 234, really? Ah, that's like the same level as the one I have currently, but it's still need arena candy, so I can't really complain. Need arena, you just gotta be nice to me, right? Little great ball raspberry. Come on. Yep, there we go. I didn't get a great though. Come on, here we go. And that's three, and there's a Nidorina. That, that's a shame, I really wish it was a high level, but you know, I'll take it. It's a newer Pokemon out here, so definitely take it. All right, we got a low level star. You're doing front flips and back flips. Ah, oh, look at you. All right, come on now. There we go, just to start you. All righty, Krabby's not normally known to live in the forest, but uh, we seem to have found one, so we'll go out, out of our way to try and catch him. He's a little lost. Uh, very, very far away from the ocean. Alrighty, it seems that uh, the anthill is home to some caterpies. So, let's try and catch him. Uh, I tried to go for an X one, that didn't work out. So it looks like we're at like a little bit of a Nidoran nest. There's two of them right next to me. So we found, yeah, a Nidorino and now a Nidoran. Oh, he's a high level. Uh, I hate high level Nidorans because I just want them for their candy. Same with Weedles and everything. It's like, it's so much harder to catch an easy Pokemon that you don't even need. All right, great balls curve in the wrong way. That's not what you want. There we go. Great. That'll be extra XP for us. So that's always hype. Yeah, hi. I know you. Uh, nice to meet you. What's your name, buddy? Uh, Ryan. Nice to meet you, Ryan. Yeah, no, we just dropped a couple lures We're trying to find some Pokemon. There's a Cubone over here as well, actually. Yeah, I. we have a Pokemon right here. What do you got? Crabby? Yeah, we got him twice, but oh, he's gone nice. out times. Got him, nice work, nice work. Yeah, well if you go down there, there's some awesome Pokemon down there as well. There's a Nidoran and a, uh, there's a Cubone on the right over here as well. Oh, all right. All right, okay. you guys have a good one. Okay, so this is the first Cubone I've ever seen. We hatched one from an egg yesterday, I believe, in the city. So this is our first actual caught one. And of course, you're gonna need a lot more to eventually evolve one into a Marowak. Um, let's see here, Cubone, gonna be nice to me, boy. Here we go, one. We got two. And we got three. Why are the hard ones always the easiest? And the easy ones are the hard ones. I don't I don't get it, man. I don't get it. With the amount of Nidorans we're catching today, we might actually be looking at a Nido King later on. Like we've caught four already. If we'd just gotten a high-level Nidorina, that would have been perfect. But hey, can't win them all, right? Alright, so while we're here, we might as well use some of that lucky egg to evolve some of our low-tier Pokemon. Um, so just gonna hit some metapods, some weedles, and uh, yeah, let's do it. Two hundred poison type Pokemon. That's a grind right there. That's a gold medal, gold medal champion, and another Nidoran. Crying out loud! All right, we got him. Geodude. Haven't seen too many of these guys. Um, still need to work up a Graveler and a Golem, so I'm always going to be hitting these guys up. It's refreshing to see Pokemon like this out here. So I think I might take a couple more visits up to the forest because I really like this triple lure spot. And uh, it's different from the city. The city, you just seem to get the same type of Pokemon. Bell sprouts for some reason, everywhere you go. Okay, another new Pokemon coming up here. Got ourselves a Machop. And uh, I think I've only caught one of these guys. I think I've maybe gotten from an egg, actually. So yeah, I still don't have any Machokes or Machamps. So I need to grind these up when I can. There we go. All the hard Pokemon today have been easy to catch. I don't get it. It's just the Zubats, the Weedles, the Caterpies that are giving me the hard guys. All right, so it looks like these lures are about to go up here because I just had to activate Lucky Eggs, which I didn't um, activate too much prior before putting these lures down. Oh, there's a Nidoran female here now. It's a new one. It's a, there's a lot of unique Pokemon. I think we found like 10, 12 different Pokemon out here, so it's pretty interesting. Uh, nice and diverse out here in the forest, but you know, it's your basic like starter type Pokemon, you know, you it's like Viridian Forest Pokemon almost, like apart from the fact that there's no Pikachus out here. Because I still haven't caught a Pikachu, could you believe it? Oh, Clefairy. There's a, there's another new one, a Clefairy. Alright, so all the laws are gone now, so we're gonna pretty much head up through the forest and see if we can find anything on the way. We're gonna have incense running the whole time, but uh, we've got no laws left at all, so hopefully we'll find something new out there. And there's actually a gym as well, so see how we go. <laughs> 
I don't know, maybe it's a, a caterpie. <laughs> Stick your hand in and find out. <laughs> I don't want to. All right, so we've been sitting in the same place for the most part, so we're gonna go ahead, do a jog, and uh, hopefully get some of these 2K eggs hatching. Um, and also, a fun fact for people at home, the incense actually gives you more Pokemon. I think it gives you a Pokemon every five minutes, but if you are walking or running, or move at least 2Ks or something, you'll get one every two minutes. I think that's roughly what it was like. Um, so yeah, walking around gives you Pokemon quicker. So we're gonna jump. Alright. Then we've come up like a nest or something. Sandstrom and a star you out of nowhere. Which is kind of crazy. This is actually really sick because I need so many sandshrews as well. Alright, he's only level 47, which is good because I already have a very high level sandshrew. But that's just so random, just two Pokemon popped out of nowhere, no lures, no nothing, so it's kind of like what we had in New Zealand at the hotel where it was just four Pokemon every time no matter what. Okay, all that running's paid off, fresh 2k egg, it's going down, we're probably going to get a Zubat, but if we got a Pikachu I'd be very very happy, or a Charmander, I think if we get a Charmander we might be able to evolve it, so here we go, Charmander or Pikachu, alright here we go, here we go, come on please. Oh, it's a Pikachu! It's a Pikachu! Yes! We needed a Pikachu so bad. We're in the forest and we've got ourselves a Pikachu. That is so lit. Oh my god, six Pikachu candies. Oh, I've never been this excited. 481. That's a brand new Pokemon. We just had Lucky Egg on for that. Oh, all the Zubats. And we finally got him, man. I'm so excited. There we go. Now we just need to work up a Raichu somehow. So, don't know how that's going to happen. That's sick. If we get a Charmander now, we can probably, yeah, evolve that into Charmander. Alrighty guys, so we just found some little mini kangaroos, uh, little mini kangaskons if you will, and uh, that's why you can only catch kangaskons in Australia, because they're the best of kangaroos. Kind of like that. Alright, so we found some little koalas in the conservation park. This guy over here, he's just passed out. <laughs> He's done, he's had a hard day. Found a little koala out here as well. Okay. We saved him from the caterpies. <laughs> Alrighty guys, well that's going to do for today's episode of Pokemon Go. I hope you guys did go on to enjoy it. We got one new Pokemon, which was of course our boy Pikachu, but uh, unfortunately weren't able to get any other new ones. We got a lot of repeats, which hopefully we'll be able to evolve very, very soon. So the next episode is probably going to a lot of new evolutions, which should be exciting. So of course, like always, if you guys do enjoy the Pokemon Go series, you should let me know the like rating down below. And of course, if you want to see more of this kind of stuff, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. We'll see you guys next time. Later guys!